Well, turning to East Africa, Kenya and Somalia are discussing the repatriation of Somali refugees living at the massive Dadaab refugee camp. The Kenyan facility is the world's largest. Insecurity at the camp is putting pressure on Kenya to relocate its residents. For those uh, considering returning home, instability in Somalia remains a major concern. Mohamed Yusuf has our report. This is the Dadaab refugee camp in northern Kenya. It shelters more than a quarter of a million Somali refugees. Most have been here for more than two decades. But for the last couple of years, the Kenyan government has become increasingly concerned about security and the economic and social burden of accommodating such a large population. Since last December, Kenya has been working to relocate Somali refugees back to Somalia. But Somali refugee youth leader Abdi Fattah Ibrahim wants the government to reconsider its stand because of insecurity in the region. The repatriation process should be halted till uh, negotiations are done and, and uh, peace prevails in Juba Valley. So apparently we, we cannot uh, allow or, or ask our give consent of going back to southern Somalia. Kenya says it is working closely with Somali authorities to relocate refugees. In an interview with VOA in June, Kenyan government spokesman Mothui Kariuki said it is in Somalia's interest. It's a question of a government talking to another government. We are ready now to take back our people. Can we have them? And what our government is uh, telling the Somali people, you have not seen any movement of those people, is that get ready to go back to your country. Your country is free now. Why would anybody not want to go back home? Kenya's high court has ruled against a plan to round up refugees in cities and send them back to the camps, a blow to the government's relocation plans. Still, Kenya is pursuing ways to return the refugees to Somalia, a move opposed by some refugees like Ahmed Ibrahim. The people who requested the return of refugees don't understand the state of these refugees. We don't have a stable country to go back to. The United Nations has also expressed concerns about repatriation. UNHCR Chief Antonio Guterres recently urged the government to respect the rights of refugees that uh, a process of repatriation of Somalis uh, to Somalia, of refugees to Somalia, needs to abide by international law and to meet uh, international standards. And those standards uh, are that it needs to be voluntary and it's, it needs to be in safety and dignity. For these refugees to return home, the United Nations Refugee Agency says conditions in Somalia first have to improve. Mohamed Yusuf for VOA News, Dadaab, Kenya. Well, we want to know what you think about Africa 54. Join the conversation on Facebook. The address is VOA Africa 54. And check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.